You can't be in industrial real estate and not be in California. The fifth largest economy in the world, larger than the United Kingdom's, larger than India's, and nearly twice the size of any other state economy. Southern California has incredibly strong macroeconomic fundamentals. From an NOI perspective, it is our largest market. The gateway for Asia's exports into the U.S., Southern California is home to the ports of L.A. and Long Beach. Southern California is very much a destination for these containers that come from Asia. So about two-thirds of that product stays in California, and about two-thirds of that product stays in Southern California. So the third that's left over goes to points further north and to the east. Within a six-hour truck trip from the ports, you can hit 25 million people. If you take that to 24 hours, you double that and hit 50 million people. We look to our customers, our data platform, and our local market knowledge to find ways to unlock new investments for us in the highest priority locations. Link's size and scale really gives us a competitive advantage. Link's investment strategy in the Inland Empire is larger format buildings, big box distribution facilities, state-of-the-art facilities that allows our customers to deliver their products to their customers in the most efficient manner possible not just regionally, but nationally throughout the U.S. We are now developing what was once say, an old vintage World War II barracks into a two million square foot, state-of-the-art, class A, two building development campus to service the Fortune 500 companies for their national distribution needs. The New York, New Jersey metro area, home to 23 million people and some of the highest industrial rents in the United States, but the advantages of securing warehouse space here are well worth it. Be it reduced drayage costs or the ability to distribute product to the entire eastern seaboard. In every one of these markets, we have local teams. These aren't investment bankers. They're not underwriters. These are local members of our team who are operation members, leasing team members, asset managers who are meeting with our customers, meeting with the brokerage community. The Meadowlands is probably one of the most, if not the most important industrial submarkets in the country. It directly services all of the office buildings in Manhattan, all of the residents of Manhattan, and a lot of the residents of Northern New Jersey as well. What we have here at Link is we've got both a development team and a construction team in-house. We can really execute on a vision to turn these properties from ones that are low performing to non-performing into really great functional assets for the market. It's really not about price for many of these customers, it's about speed to market. It's really being able to get into these markets and having access to these consumers. We often aren't fighting over rent very much anymore. What the customers need is the right warehouse in this location. We've purchased more off-market buildings over the past three years than anyone else, which is a true testament to our local presence here in New York and New Jersey. Dallas-Fort Worth. Through careful planning, Link has been able to use Dallas's astonishing growth to its advantage. For starters, there are no state income taxes. Business owners love that, residents love that. Second, the labor force, fantastic. In Dallas, we consistently hear, we need more space. We need to expand, we need to grow. It's been one of the fastest growing major metros in the US, and there are 28 million people within a 250 mile radius. The Dallas-Fort Worth market sits at a confluence of major interstates that are distribution nodes that large companies want to be able to tap into in order to serve a larger base. There are two major intermodals throughout the metro area. Together, they can reach 98% of the US population within a 48 hour window. In these particular infill submarkets that we're targeting, development predominantly consists of redevelopment, which has allowed us to focus on those particular submarkets, which have provided market leading rental rate growth. Dallas is attracting businesses like no other metropolitan area in the country. They're attracting new residents like no other metropolitan area in the country. There is going to be growth, there is going to be development, and Link owns a lot of that small bay infill product that's going to do really well. In Florida, a combination of dramatic population growth and land scarcity has created two poles for the state's industrial real estate market. Orlando, a major population center and key regional distribution hub, and Miami, a metro area called the commercial capital of Latin America. 
all within a 12-mile wide strip of land between the Florida Everglades and the Atlantic Ocean. You see it every day, every report you read, people are moving in droves to Florida. Orlando continues to see record population growth. South Florida continues to see record population growth. Currently, 22 million people reside in the state. That number grows by 6,000 people per week. A lot of that consumer demand and a lot of that buying is driving warehouse space needs. I've seen all the metros evolve from very, very high vacancy, low industrial focus to more of a primary focus on establishing strategic warehouses in A-plus locations in order to serve that population. Tourism took a step back, which allowed for a new customer diversification in Orlando and Miami. Tourism is now creating a much greater tailwind in these markets. We had 75 million tourists through Orlando. Miami is the cruise ship capital of the world. So we're adding this tailwind to the new diversification through COVID. Combined with our development pipeline, it's allowing for massive amounts of rent growth in the Florida markets. Atlanta's the fourth fastest growing metro area in the country. We're growing by 80,000 people per year, rapidly approaching 7 million people metro area. As the population of Atlanta and the greater Southeast continues to increase, the demand from that growing consumer base is only gonna increase as well. As a result, there's gonna be demand from an industrial occupier standpoint to keep up with the last mile delivery demand. From the city of Atlanta, you can connect with 80% of the United States population within a two-hour flight or within a two-day drive. We've got the world's busiest airport in Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International. We've got great freeway systems. You've got the two major rail lines that connect Atlanta. These systems create a hub-and-spoke approach that allows the product to get through the East Coast, through the nation very, very quickly. Atlanta's become its own center of gravity in the Southeast. It continues to be a market where we see it's poised for continual rent growth, especially as you relate it to the other markets throughout the Eastern Seaboard. It's still relatively low cost compared to New Jersey, compared to Orlando, other markets. We still think there's this opportunity for rents to rise. You look at our assets, and they are prime assets in core submarkets of Atlanta, infill mid sized assets in the city of Atlanta. From an industrial perspective, that's exactly what you want. Why wouldn't you want to be in Atlanta? Why wouldn't you want? to plant your headquarters, your regional distribution center in the city of Atlanta. We know warehouses. We know logistics. Our customers know their business. When we work together, we both are going to be able to achieve more. When a company grows their business with Link, we can continue to grow ours. 